All I wanna be is my dream. Now I'm dead or falling. Kick it. Marty, I get more up to heap it. Are you tired of frat boys patting you on the head at parties or having to mount your kitchen counter to reach things? I'm happy to announce that height is now a social construct. If you are short, simply stop. Just don't. I used to kind of be afraid of men, and then I put on seven inch platforms that make me 6'2. So now my favorite pastimes include things like dangling men's belongings over their head. And of course, squishing them like the little bugs they are. People always ask me where I get my clothes and where they can buy the things that I wear. And I never really know what to say because I thrift a lot of my clothes and I also buy clothes at like really weird places. Maybe it's because it brings me physical pain to spend money literally ever or because I'm a freak. But I just want to let all my bimbos know that you don't need Prada and you don't need Chanel to look cute. Look at this shirt. This is a girl's small from Ross. It was $4 from the clearance rack. Yes, I hate capitalism. And yes, I am a shopaholic. I found out Ripped after my that dental this bill? is a twist Ouch. off. I do way too much for this app. Get it. Lenine, none of this is going to plan. Deal with it. This is your daily reminder to never trust men. Ever. I cannot tell you how many men have hopped up in my DMs and ended their literal soliloquy of pickup lines with something like, let me buy you coffee, by the way. And that was what, 10 months ago? And it's been crickets? I don't think so, bitch. You can't just come back out of nowhere. I'm a bank. I gain interest. That cup of coffee just turned into an 18 course meal on a Subaru. Make it happen. If men are going to treat you as disposable, you should treat them the same way. I'm not saying pull an army hammer, but if it comes to that, you might- Here's a visual representation of the point in relation to your head. This is a reminder that you have to be hot to be a bimbo. But being hot isn't about what you wear, how you look. Looking hot is about owning who you are, not of who perceives you. You shouldn't give a damn of the opinion of any man. Why well, yes, this coat is Dior, and no, you can't touch it. Buy me a drink? No. But I'll spit in yours for free. Why well, yes, I did come here alone, which just so happens to be the way you'll be leaving. Toodles. People are always asking me, how do I become a bimbo? You gotta take it one step at a time, and for me, that first step is always remembering a hoe never gets cold. <laughs> asking if I'm a man or a woman. Is it not obvious? I'm literally just attractive. No, because I could be having the worst, stinkiest, smelliest, most awful day ever in the history of days, and then boom, street parking on my street right in front of my apartment. Come on, come on. I am not a they of God, but sometimes, sometimes the universe just sends things my way and I'm like, thank you. Babe, I know you just got your heart broke, but he drives a Ford F-150. You should have seen this coming. The Venn diagram of pickup truck drivers and male manipulators is a circle. Recognize a red flag when you see one. If you aren't going to try and understand my pronouns, I'm not going to try and understand football, okay? Who are the Chiefs? What is a line of scrimmage? I don't care. Go eat your Totino's pizza rolls and say out of my life, you transphobic turd. Chrissy, what does a hoe never get? Cold, baby. Put that on a bumper sticker. Listen, I know I've always said a hoe never gets cold. I stand by that. But some of y'all bin babies got me worried, okay? Frostbite is out there, whether you like it or not. And I do not have the money for a hypothermia-related lawsuit. So for the hoe that occasionally gets cold, might I propose layers? Listen, 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 listen. Okay, right? You got business in the front, a little party in the back, and a bimbo underneath. It's not that hard. Good evening, bimbos. Um... I am walking in New York City in my Sean Cody sweater and my Megan Thee Stallion beanie. I am just now hearing about Super Straight, which if I'm being honest, um, I definitely thought it was like the next Marvel superhero, but that their superpower was that they only shop at Vineyard Vines. And now I'm understanding that it's just bigotry. Um, and damn, like, I'm not surprised, but it's a little bit sad that straight people just get bored on a Sunday and decide, yeah, let's hate on trans people. See, I've done a pretty good job with not letting men affect my emotions, but it's time we have a talk. Bimbo to bimbo. I woke up to this BS on my Instagram feed. Noah Beck in high heels with the caption F toxic masculinity. I want to know why we decided that Noah Beck was going to be the poster child for dismantling toxic masculinity. Noah Beck, who started an entire trend of mocking gays when he danced. Noah Beck from the Sway House, who kicked two people out of their party after finding out they were trans. 
Putting a cis straight man in high heels does not do anything to fight back against toxic masculinity. The only thing that this says is that if you are straight, famous, and conventionally attractive, then you get to play dress up on the set of a photo shoot without having to worry about being the victim of a hate crime. This wasn't done to push towards the abolition of gender norms. It was done as a publicity stunt and a cash grab and nothing else. And so I was like, if you're not going to try and understand my pronouns, I'm not going to try and understand football. <laughs> what was that? Just admit you're not athletic. Why? Because I'm gay? You said it, not me. Honey, I'm a Division One college athlete and I placed 10th in the nation in high school. You got cut from the JV team sophomore year because your GPA dropped too low and you failed algebra 2. Okay, so then why don't the gays like football? Maybe it's because it's fans or men like you who call us the gays? It's a sport that women aren't even allowed to play and it's basically just a violent demonstration of competitive toxic masculinity. I wouldn't feel safe at a football stadium. Besides, do you watch, I don't know, Drag Race? No. Why not? Because only gays watch it? You that's not the same thing. Right, it's not the same. The difference is that after the finale, we don't go smashing windows like y'all did when the Eagles won.